So some of the new therapies that are out there would be drugs like Capra or Levetiracetam, Zanisamide or Zonagran, uh, Topiramate, Gabapentin, Pregabalin, and then there are some pet pets who are uh, being used with um, cannabinoids or CBD. If we go back to the medications that I use most frequently, uh, Capra I use regularly because it's a very effective medication for some patients, especially with myoclonic epilepsy. It tends to be very, very safe. Uh, it has both a standard release formulation and an extended release formulation. The benefits of the extended release formulation are patient compliance because it's a twice a day medication. Uh, the standard release medication has to be given typically three times a day for efficacy. So that's challenging for most pet owners. So the value of the XR formulation is that we get better patient compliance, which means hopefully better epilepsy control. Zanisamide or Zonagran is another medication I use regularly. I find it to be a very safe medication. It's very well tolerated. It tends to have a low sedative profile. Uh, well, as Keppra has very, very few side effects, if any, zanisamide does occasionally cause idiosyncratic reactions, which the most common one that's been reported is hepatopathy or disease of the liver, and it's typically an acute hepatopathy that occurs in the first two weeks of therapy. Beyond that, to my knowledge, there are no chronic side effects of zanisamide, so for that reason, I think it's a very effective and good medication. Um, I still check labs typically once a year in a patient looking for any long-term potential side effects, whereas Keppra, there is no drug monitoring necessary because the drug has no internal toxicities. So the use of cannabinoids in managing epilepsy is really in the forefront right now in the human field. And there's a good study this year that came out of Colorado looking at CBD for people with severe and refractory epilepsy and found some efficacy for patients within that study. For the use of animals, it's still difficult because legislation does not permit the usage of cannabinoids in veterinary animals. And so uh, even in states that have medical cannabis laws, it's not extrapolated to animals. Now there are states that have recreational cannabis usage and in those states there's the possibility of using CBD to manage pets with epilepsy. Uh, there's also the possibility of using cannabinoids that are extracted from industrial hemp because that is in fact legal. There is some question as the value or the quality of the CBD that's extracted from industrial hemp and also a lot of the products may not necessarily contain what they report.